So this video is going to contain some spoilers for Meta Runner Seasons 1 and 2. If you haven't already, definitely head over to Glitch Productions and check out Meta Runner Season 1 and 2 right now. As original links will also be posted in the description below. But, alright, let's get right to the video. So, I gotta say, the Meta Runner Season 2 finale definitely brought a close to two mysteries that have been going on. Just what happened to Lucinia, but also just who the heck Tari even was. But also, with what happened in the finale, opening the doors towards Season 3 of Meta Runner. Hey all my loyal subjects, it's me, Princess Swordheart the Gamer Queen here, back with another prediction video, and I know I haven't done one of these in a little bit, but it, it was definitely just taking me a long time to edit one of these prediction videos, as you know, with the amount of stuff I go on, well, have to talk about in these videos, but I'm happy to be back and with the prediction video for MetaRunner Season 3. So in this video, we're going to be going over some of, some of the predictions that I made, but also the predictions that were made by an awesome fan and YouTuber named Spider Overlord, who helped me out with making this video. As we're going to... As Meta, with Meta Runner, there were there still been some things that were left unexplained, but also some stuff that might happen in Season 3 that we might get to see, as with what happened in the previous two seasons, there's definitely going to be a lot leading up into Season 3. But before we get right into the predictions, I want to give Spider Overlord a minute to talk, but here he is right now. Alright, thanks Spider! For your introduction and helping make this awesome video. But yeah! So, oh another thing before we get started is that right now here on the channel I'm aiming for a goal of 5,000 subscribers. As my channel analytics have really shown that a lot of you haven't subscribed yet, but if you're new and want to help see this channel grow, make sure to hit that subscribe button below to join my Kingdom of Heroes, as there's going to be a lot more awesome content coming in the future, so definitely stay tuned. But alright, so now without further ado, it's time for us to get right to the predictions for Meta Runner Season 3! Alright, so... Prediction number one up on the list is, we find out what Lamar's reason for joining MD5 was. Though, Lamar is definitely kind of one of the funniest guys in the group of MD5, who's, who can definitely make some good jokes, loves waifu pillows and anime girls, and he's just a very cool guy, as we see throughout the series in a few of these clips right now. Oh man, I just had those done! Okay, now I'm pissed! Don't worry, Massa. Tari's ability to learn video games is incredible! Before, when we were being chased by Lux, the car was all like... And we were all like... Ah! And Tari was all like... Oh yeah! Hey guys! It's a shooting story! Why do you have so many cars, Lamar? You never know when a fool might want to duel you! Danny! Where'd that come from? explanation for this. A frame job, a doctored video. This is Task Corp we're talking about. What about them? They're stuck at Task Corp being used by Lux as human shields. They're our friends and they're in danger. Well, uh, I didn't think it was possible, but you got bigger and uglier. Uh, I thought you were them. My bad. But for how awesome Lamar is throughout the series, we still don't know his whole reason for joining MD5. Because, I mean, with Masa and Sophia, we learned their reasons with Masa's being the fact that he was trying to discover why Lux killed Lucinia, when in reality, we all know that... Well, during the finale, the fact that 
Lux. Lux wasn't responsible for what happened to her, but instead because of the explosion that made her go unconscious. And the fact that Sophia was just looking for her sister Lucinia. But we still don't know just why Lamar wanted to join MD5, because for all we know, it could have been something serious with maybe something happening with his family or just some friends or whatnot. Because it's definitely going to be interesting if it gets revealed in, in Season 3. Because the way I think it might go down is with Sophia and Lamar remembering why they've helped form MD5 to take down Taz Corp. Because with Masa and Belle now in jail, it would definitely be a good thing to remember what just why they formed MD5. Because it's because it makes me think we are gonna learn just why he joined MD5 by season three. Let's just say uh, they destroyed many lives, including ours. Okay, so prediction number two up on the list is. We find out how Tari got her body, and this was a prediction that I came up with. As with the end of Season 2, we learned that Tari is an AI in an artificial body, but we don't know exactly how she got her body, to be exact, because I know back before the ending of Season 2 happened, I know I was definitely one of the people with the theory flowing around that Tari was Lucinia just having a different look and whatnot, but it's just crazy to think that she was the Project Blue AI this whole time, just in another body. But we still don't know how she got her body to be exact, because it's definitely unknown what happened after the explosion with Pro incident with Sheridan and Lucinia. As for all we know, Sheridan could have placed Tari in that back alley in, in the beginning and probably set all of this up just for Lux to get taken down with the help of MD5, as he might have been planning it from the whole beginning. And it's just still a mystery and it really amazes me just thinking just how did she get her body? Because for all we know, it might, it might be something we're not going to expect just like we did in the Season 2 finale. And it's definitely going to be really amazing once we finally know in Season 3. Remarkable, isn't she? A perfect artificial body housing the most advanced AI the world has ever seen. Prediction number 3 up on the list is... There will be Sophia and Lucinia flashbacks in Season 3 by Spider Overlord. So even I can gr agree with Spider Overlord that there are definitely going to seem like there's going to be more flashbacks. As within Season 2, we did get that flashback with Belle, Lucinia, and Masa just showing what happened with them before the whole incident with Project Blue. As it was really heartwarming to see just how they were all together, their relationship and everything, just before everything happened, everything changed. As I feel like it would definitely be awesome if we got to see Sophia and Lucinia flashbacks. Because I know Lu Sophia and Lucinia really have a strong sibling bond just with the way Sophia was really heartbroken, knowing the fact that, well, just thinking that. Lucinia was gone when she thought she had died back in the season one finale. As it would be awesome to really see some flashbacks leading up to Sophia, well, with Lucinia getting revived almost by the finale. As it would be pretty awesome to happen. And just really seeing a heartwarming scene with Lucinia waking up and Sophia being right by her side when it happens. As I know, I'm definitely one of the many people out there just waiting for this heartwarming reunion for seeing these two sisters finally reuniting. 
Calm down, little Miss Patience. I'm almost there. The prediction number four up on the list is... There will be more game genres introduced, and this prediction was by Spider Overlord. But alright. So, throughout Meta Runner, there have definitely been a lot of games introduced throughout the series. Whether it be Ultra Jump Mania, with our favorite lovable little coconut boy, Theo. You're not gonna take my island, evil boss! Battle Blaze where you use various weapons to shoot your opponents around the map. Tempest, a game where wizard-like characters use magic spells to eliminate their opponents all around a giant map. Uh, say the magic word? Oh, well, never mind. War Tech Fighters, a game where war mechs fight in space with swords and shields. Ah, sorry, Turbo Crash 9, a game where players use vehicles to eliminate other players around the map. Haku Kasu? Yeah, Kasuse. Kasuse. Okay, just correct me if I'm saying that wrong. A dating similar where Tari acts as a student in school and must go out with a girl to gain her trust to be able to get back in contact with MV5. Heroes, a game where cyborgs use swords, bows, and other weapons to defeat hordes of ninja-like cyborgs in a Japanese setting. And that was def definitely one of my favorite games, considering it showed Tari's concept design before she became who we know her as today. What in the- Genres introduced and just a lot. A lot of them being different genres, it definitely still leaves the door open for more genres to be introduced. Such as fighting, choose your own adventure, survival horror, hack and slash, and role playing games. As there are still a lot left still a lot of other games they could do, because we haven't seen almost all the game genres be put into Meta Runner just yet, and it's going to be exciting just seeing what kind of new games they come up with for the third season of Meta Runner. Because the games that were introduced in Season 2 were awesome, also along with the return of Ultra Drum Mania in Season 2, being in a kind of nightmare mode setting. But it's going to be really awesome, as with every game that Tori's gone into, I really have loved almost every single outfit she's had, and I cannot wait to see just what's going to happen with Season 3's new games. Plus, Tori's new outfits in those games. But alright, so prediction number five up on the list is... Evelyn will end up with the same fate as Lucinia. And this was another prediction by Spider Overlord. So we all know how greedy Evelyn can definitely be in the series, just shown with her personality, personality and everything towards Tari and others in these clips right here. Ugh, why do I have to share my debut show match with someone who has the charisma and gaming talent of a malfunctioning bot boy? You know I can hear you, right? I know! That's why I said it! Ooh, naughty, naughty! Luck said you're not allowed to have your own video games. 
He's going to be so mad when he finds out. Tari. Did Lux come already? I can't believe I missed it. How mad was he? Did he yell? Did she cry? Tell me everything. <sighs> you want to know why I hate you? Because unlike you, I actually worked hard to get to where I am. Years of training. Countless task corp screening tests. Night after night of yearning and dreaming of the day when I stand on stage and the whole world cheers for me. But then you came along. And suddenly, you're the most important person to have ever lived. An upstart nobody whose only talent is being a freak. As Evelyn's jealousy and greed really shows just with the fact that she was willing to help Lux take out Tari just so she could have the spotlight, but also the fact that she was making sure that Tari and Thea wouldn't make it to the goalposts in the finale. As we can really see it go even further with her, especially since she's going to get the same powers that Tari has within Season 3 of Meta Runner. But I feel like we want to see her fall into an unconscious state, just like Lucinia did so quick with Tari, as we could see her get the powers at first, because this is going to be the second time Sheridan's doing this. And then, maybe at some point later down in the story, well, in the season, we see her fall into an unconscious state. As Evelyn's jealousy and greed will definitely be her downfall. And she might not even know it. That moronic, stuttering, blue-haired, walking fluke! Ah! Oh, she thinks she's better than me! She's not better! She's just a freak! Why, if I had those abilities... Ugh. Alright, so prediction number six up on the list is we find out why Sheridan wanted Lux dead, and this prediction was by me. So it was definitely crazy during the season two finale, just when Masa shot Lux dead in the head, but we all know that wasn't his fault for shooting Lux as, well, because with MD5 and Bell just seeing the fact that Masa did want to kill Lux at first, but then put down the gun, knowing he would definitely be locked away for good. It was definitely a shocker to see that someone did want him dead. As Lux, as Lux did note this, right in this clip right here. So you are behind this. <laughs> well played. I found it interesting because I think he I knew it, he knew that it was Sheridan behind it all but it just leads me into just more questions on why he wanted him dead did Sheridan want revenge on Lux for rushing Project Blue and causing his injury that we seen with his half burnt face but or is there something even deeper that not even we know about because we can already tell that season 3 is definitely going to involve a whole lot of craziness with the guys trying to get, revive Lucinia and having to deal with Sheridan on the sidelines. Most, uh, most time. Oh god, I, I don't have much time! I, I gotta find someone now! The prediction number 7 up on the list is... We'll see how Belle and Masa will get out of jail in Season 3 of Meta Runner. And this prediction was by me and Spider Overlord. So, during the Season 2 finale, it was definitely a shocker just really seeing Belle stay behind for Masa. Especially considering the fact that she considered herself guilty for briefly helping Tazcorp fight the M fight MD5 in the first season of Meta Runner. But also the fact considering she was also sided with Lux and helping him commit some of the crimes that he did with Tazcorp. 
as it's gonna be crazy if once we see just how they're gonna get out of jail because we don't know exactly how they're gonna get out as if MD5 is gonna try to prove Moss's innocence that he didn't murder Lux or just what they're gonna do as it's definitely a mystery or to see if they're gonna get help from the outside to escape prison because we don't know what's gonna fully happen as season two definitely left off on cliffhangers that we all know and love from the creators of Meta Runner. And we're really excited to see how season three is gonna pick up, especially if we see Belle in the beginning with Belle and Masa in a jail cell together. As it's going to be, it's definitely gonna be crazy to see how they escape prison. I'll stay with him. I don't belong with you guys anyway. After all, I've also got dirt on my hands from working with Tazcorp. Go. Get out of here. The prediction number eight up on the list is... We'll see what Dr. Sheridan's plan will be for the third season of Meta Runner. And this prediction was by me and Spider Overlord. So... With the end of Meta Runner Season 2, it was actually revealed that Dr. Sheridan was alive this entire time ever since the Project Blue incident. And it's just crazy to think that he's been alive this whole time. Because I, I was definitely very surprised, but also it's crazy to think just how he's still survived the explosion as we can see he's definitely gone crazy judging by the way the explosion left a mark on him literally as during because in season two he he did reappear secretly in season two as moss's annoying neighbor in firewall hey moss are you still owe me money for Oh, you've got guests! Oh, my bad. Nice. Knock, knock! Hey, Masa, can I borrow you? Oh, you're still busy. I'll come back later. And it's just crazy to think that... that he was in disguise and we didn't even know it. Because he was the guy with the smiley face mask and everything, but also in Softlock where he bumped into Masa and planted the mind con well, the control device on his Meta Runner arm. Because you don't know until you look back, well, see the end of Meta Runner season two and then realize it's been he was he was there this whole time and not noticed. Which is pretty awesome just how they how Luke and Kevin really hinted towards that. Especially with the end of Meta Runner Season 2. As we still don't know what his true plan is, but it seems like he's really been setting up a lot of stuff for something big. Especially with the Ball of Tavs Corp and Lux death. Because we don't know what he's planning, but still, if anything, MD5 is not only going to have to deal with reviving Lucinia, but Dr. Sheridan's plan as well. As, as it's still unknown whether or not Marco was also connected, as we did see him come in to get the guys out of that jam. Out of the jam with the police, trying to escape them considering they had no no way to get out of there. Because I don't think Marco would have been connected, but still, considering the fact he knew the guys were right there, he might be connected. But, as you guys know, we're definitely going to have to wait till we see Season 3. Oh, getting into Meta Runner Arms is easy if you know what you're doing. As for who I am, well, <laughs> I've gone by a few names and aliases recently. But for you, my dear, you can call me Sheridan. All right.
right, so prediction number nine up on the list is we'll see the first meta runner will be a part of the story, and this prediction was by Spider Overlord. So even I can definitely agree with Spider Overboard that this might become a part of the story. As for a lot of people who don't know, Lux was actually the inventor of the Meta Runner arm. Yeah, definitely pretty shocking knowing that Taz Corp was the start of all this thing with Meta Runner arms and everything. But it might as considering the fact that Lux died in the season two finale. He definitely might not be gone for forever from the story, as he might make flash- there might be flashbacks and everything about him and the whole story with the first meta runner and whatnot, as it would be good to see him still evolved in the series even though he's dead now, as it might be a huge part- as what I'm thinking is, it might be a part of Dr. Sherrod- because if Dr. Sheridan explains his plan and everything, and just why Lux was important to his part of the plan, it might be a part of it, because you never know. And I gotta say, Spider Overlord really made a good prediction with this. I no longer just want her abilities for Tazcor. I want her. Lux, you are so creepy right now. The prediction number 10 up on the list is we'll see Ma Tari and Masa's relationship evolve even further in season 3 and this prediction was by me. So throughout Meta Runner we've seen moments between Tari and Masa such as when you know Tari's getting you no know, MZ5 and everything and just it really shows just how especially well, just how close they're becoming. But by the end of season one, when it's discovered that Tari's was a part of the Project Blue that caused Lucidian's disappearance, Masa lost his trust in her. Even though the fact that Tari didn't know anything. But also, just throughout the first half of season two, where Masa's still unsure about what happened well, just having his trust on getting Tari and Theo out of Taz Corp, considering the fact that Tari was a part of Project Blue. And then with this, then with episode 5, Heart to Heart, we got to see just the connection between Tari and Masa as they had a little bit of a heart to heart moment when trying to just. Uh, uh, ah, sorry, you guys. Uh, I feel like I can barely talk today. Where. They were trying to decide if Bell should join them or not to bring down Taz Corp once again. But the whole, but also in the moment during the season two finale where Tari's trying to get Masa to lower the gun in. He does. But it does make me think that their relationship up to season three will definitely really show. As there might be a moment where Tari's like, I know he wouldn't have shot Lux. There's no way where she she knows he would never have shot him. Cause I really can't wait to see just how this is gonna be. Cause with all the adorable Tari and Masa moments there have been throughout Meta Runner, I really can't wait to see how it adds up in season three. Cause it's really shown greatly, and I'm really excited to see just what's gonna happen. Especially if the guys are gonna get Masa and Belle out of jail. Belle a third time. Heart to heart! Mm. I know that Belle's hurt you in the past, but from what I've seen, she's hurting really badly as well. I know what it feels like to be alone and scared. And right now, I think she just needs a friend. Belle took a chance talking to me today, and she did it because she trusts you. Are you gonna let her down? <sighs> Fine. She's in. Yes! But alright, our final prediction up on the list is... 
We'll see Lucinia wake up and Tari might sacrifice herself to save her. And this prediction was by both me and Spider Overlord. So with season three going to be focusing around Lucy with MD5 trying to get Lucinia revived and everything, we might see Tari having to sacrifice herself to try and bring Lucinia back. Because considering the fact that Lucinia has been a part of her this whole time, we might actually see a moment to where the guys know that Tari's gonna have to give up what makes her her to be able to give Lucinia back what she needs to be able to regain her consciousness. As it would definitely make for one of the saddest moments in the series, but also just one of the moments that really shows how far Tari's willing to go to really help someone out, especially just giving up what makes her her, considering the fact she's just been an AI this whole time in a human body. And it would be sad to really see her give up just what makes her the sweet girl, the sweet girl we all know and love. You're Lucinia. Right? <clears throat> Lucinia. Yeah, that's who I was. And you're... Don't tell me. Tari? Yes. Did you used to know me? Do you know where I came from? Or what happened to my memory? Why do I keep seeing you? Where have you been? What are you even doing here? Slow down, slow down. There's no speed run for conversations, you know? I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Who... What am I? Okay. You deserve that at the very least. But alright, so that was mine and Spider Overlord's predictions for Meta Runner Season 3. And I'm really hyped up as I know Season 3 hasn't been announced just yet since Glitch Productions has been working on other projects such as Sunset Paradise and Murder Drones, but all we can do is hope that the announcement will come in the future. As I hope I'll get into Glitch Productions to really help out with Meta Runner Season 3. I would love to help give them great ideas for, for what to do. Well, just being able to help out with the show and everything. As I really hope I get to work on Meta Runner Season 3 with the entire Glitch Productions team. If I get in. But this video was really fun to do, and I definitely want to thank all you guys out there for just the support you guys give to me for every single video, as it really means a lot. And I'm very thankful for all of you. As you never know, I might decide to do something special for the release of Meta Runner Season 3 by maybe doing a live stream of Season 1, well, my re-reaction of the first two seasons before Season 3 comes out. But I do want to give a huge thank you to Spi Spider Overlord, an awesome fan, friend, and YouTuber, and donator of the channel. As you guys can definitely check out check out his channel, as I'll have the link down down in the comments, but also in the description if you guys want to check out his channel. But I do want to let him have a moment to say some words before we end this video. Oh, that's all the predictions. I got to say, it was a thing we could honor these predictions made by Thor Princess or other game of Queen. I hope we do be as like this in the future. Bye. Thanks, Spider Overlord. You're the best. But alright. So, but also with the completion of the Meta Runner Season 3 prediction video, I do want to announce that I will be doing a prediction video for Sunset Paradise Season 2, Murder Drone Season 1, the sequel to the Genesis arc, and. Onyx King's 2022 arc. As I'm really excited to really show you, just give you guys my ideas, but also to hear your guys' ideas 
for what you think might happen. As you guys can definitely share your predictions down in the comments below, but also in the channel discussion, as I will be having official things to where you guys can put in your predictions, to have your predictions shown, not only your predictions shown, but also your name shown in the predictions for but, ah, but, I think you guys get what I'm saying, but yeah. But alright, so this is where we're gonna end it, but like always, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, smash the subscribe button for more content in the future just like this, and make sure to click that notification bell down below for my latest videos and updates, and make sure to head over to Patreon to help support my college classes, but also to help support the channel. But yeah, I'm Princess Swordheart the Gamer Queen, and here's to hopes that we hear about Metarunner Season 3 really soon, and I'm signing off.